Chris Guigan, the marketing engineer. And uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you for taking that first step, filling out that form, and, and coming over here. You've got a lot of great, powerful information um, coming your way. It's already in your inbox. So uh, go through that, um, listen, uh, study, learn, and apply it, and you're going to see some huge things happening in your business. Now, um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to show you the biggest sources of waste in businesses. So what does that mean? By being able to identify the biggest sources of waste, you can capitalize off of it and grab hold of more leads, have more sales, and create stronger relationships with your clients. So not only will they come back and buy more from you, they'll also give you a lot more referrals and business will be a whole lot easier. Isn't, after all, isn't that what you really want? You know, and that, isn't that the picture that you've got in your mind? So, um, you know, I, I'm going to um, get into an example here. And um, first example I, I'm, I'm going to have is I, I'm going to talk about offline marketing first. Um, and the example I'm going to run is offline marketing. And then after that, I'm going to come back and talk about online marketing. And uh, um, the, the key, key areas with both of them. So, you know, uh, for, first of all, with, with offline marketing, except for a real simple example here, just to show you like a typical process that, that happens. So you have typically someone says, you know, I'm gonna gonna run an ad and uh, take out an ad. And so what they'll do is they'll do, um, you know, like like a postcard deck, you know, whether ballot pack, um, RSVP, money mail, or whatever, or they'll do like uh, a, a individual postcard or an oversized postcard or a magazine, and um, they'll they'll typically just throw money at an ad. Tell this is what I do. Um, we've been in business for this long. Here's here's my name. Come see me. You'll be glad you did. Nothing, uh, nothing exciting. So, um, so, so that they'll run an ad, and then, and then what they do is, is they'll have people respond to the ad. That they'll have appointments or meetings, and then sales, and then end up getting some referrals. So, just, just kind of, kind of show you a simple example of how it goes. We'll say that this, this bag of beads, I guess. I don't know. Uh, my kids love these things. Uh, re represent a general population. So, these are people that, that that will get the ad at their house. Now, you'll get, you know, some six. It's a, this is like you know, like a newspaper. Say this is a you know direct mail piece. This is a mag, a magazine. Maybe it's a networking event or or, or an email blast or, or, or something like that. So basically, you sell it on an ad, and you're gonna get and and uh, you should hopefully get response. Um, now I've seen people send out forty thousand mailers and get zero response. Why? Because the first biggest blunder that, that, uh, that they have, the biggest thing that they're missing is, is their, their, their copy is just boring. It's got no, it, does, it doesn't have a powerful headline on it. Uh, there's no body copy with it that really speaks to human emotions, human desires. There's no social proof on there, no testimonials from people. There's no strong call to offer on it. Um, there's no uh, guarantees on it. And, 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 and again, the offer is just, just brutal on it. So, so I've seen a lot of people take out, run ads, a lot, a lot of households, and get nothing back. So um, that's, that's the biggest source of waste is, is having a poorly designed, poorly thought out ad piece going out. So um, once, once, that, once that ad goes out, um, you get a response. And typically, um, it'll be a phone call, email, or something like that. And then, uh, and then they'll, they'll, they'll call and you know, set up some some meetings, come in for an appointment, um, you know, something like that. So, so these, um, you'll see some people will, will come over into here. Now, obviously, you know, the ratios are a lot smaller because not as many people are going to come in for for an appointment as the ones that called in. And then, typically, once ones that come in for appointment or you go and meet with, you, you'll get a few you'll turn into customers, something like that, right? And then, and then from customers, you'll get, you know. You know, one or two will be repeat buyers, and then we'll also come back and, and give you referrals to other people. So, um, pr pretty pretty typical, um, uh, probably going on in your business right right now. So, here's a, here's a question I have for you: Have you ever had this happen before? Have you ever had anybody call you up out of the blue and say, "Hey, you know what? You may not remember me, but uh, you came out here and you did a quote for uh, for my job, or I came into your store and saw whatever." Well, um, I'm ready to buy now. Of course, you don't remember. Are, but you say, yeah, yeah, I remember you, um, and and you go you go back out, requote their job, requote their, their their business, and then they uh, they do business with you. Ever had that happen to you? Almost everyone I met with is like, oh yeah, and they can cite me off examples, like they're really proud. So so they had somebody call them up and become a customer with them. 
Now my question is, what about all these other people? What happened to them? Where did they go? Are you marketing to them? Well, big problem here is, is that people do not capture leads when they come in. All they're interested in is if they're going to buy or not. So here's, here's a huge, uh, um, huge sinkholes where it's, impar it's uh, critical if you, for you to capture these leads. That way you can continue to market to them. They may not be ready to buy, they just may be curious, but you can, you can then nurture them so then that they'll move to the next step. These guys, you want to keep marketing to these guys, keep giving them compelling things to, to move them on to become a, a client. And then clients, these guys, this list, you got to have, and you should be doing targeted marketing promotions to these people. If you're not doing that, and if you're not, if you're not collecting leads and marketing to each one of these cups, you are missing huge opportunities. Like, look, look, at, look, at, look at all the, all the ones that, that are left in there. And then you also should be driving up more referral business from, from here. So, and then he, here's another piece. You know, if, if you look in the cups, you see a whole mixed match of, of different, uh, different colors in there. You know, you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see, you know, you'll see different things. There'll, there'll be these, I don't know, kind of like orangey, orangey things. Um, these, these like uh, red ones, these, these deep ones, these yellow ones, these, these green ones. Now, let's, let's say that, that, that your, your ideal client is, I don't know what your favorite color is, but let's, let's say, say this one, this is a, like my daughter's favorite color. Let's say that this, this, is, um, this is what your ideal client looks like. Instead of just running an ad and taking anybody that you can get, why not design the ad so these are the only people that, um, that you get to work with? So, say, so instead of those, um, taking anyone that you can get, because say, say these, these are, oh here, this one, how about this one? This is a, a puke green color. So these are, these are the, the puke green prospects that you have and customers that you have that you really could care less that you had. So why not design something to, right up front, that's going to eliminate these guys. It's going to just, just throw them away, put, put them back in the cesspool, let your competitors deal with them, and then you only take these guys. So there's another huge opportunity to design your ads to only attract the people that you want to do business with. These are the ones that makes life so much easier. So there's, there's a brief snapshot of, of um, offline marketing. Uh, with, with this as well, you want to be creating an incredible uh, customer experience for, for your clients. And this should be choreographed from the second they, they respond to your ad, how they're greeted, um, how, uh, how they're greeted for an appointment or when they come to your, your store or your restaurant, and then um, how you follow up with them. You want, to, you want to capture this whole experience. This in itself will, will drive up referral business um, two, three, four, five times. So, um, so that's, that's really critical, and you, you want to choreograph each step. You also want to know your numbers for each step, so you can see where your weaknesses are, uh, and, then, and then put things in play to, to strengthen them. You may also want to uh, you know, train people at different steps as well to, to work on their skills to increase your conversions at each step. So that's basically for offline marketing.